Hi everyone, welcome back to my beauty times 2. Um, this is a Valentine's look that I decided to do. My last video was a blue smoky eye with a nude lip. And I thought, you know, that's not what everyone wants to wear every day. So I decided to do a neutral eye with a smoke with a red lip. And this look is perfect for Valentine's Day because I know it's right around the corner. And yeah, it's really easy. I just used a cut crease on my eye, which I'm really excited to show you guys. And if you like this look, please keep watching and please remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and say any comments down below. Thank you. Okay guys, to start off this look, I'm going to use my EOS Chapstick and Painterly from MAC. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and just spread that all over my lid. And make sure you get it underneath your eyes too because we're going to be putting eyeshadow there. Then taking my Morphe G13 brush with the color Light Brown, we're going to spread that all over my crease in a windshield wiper motion and really build on it because it's hard getting that kind of color on my skin tone. Then I went in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and you guys have to smell it, it smells so good. And I used the color Light Chocolate and I spread that over what was already on my crease just to emphasize the light brown even more. Next I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown and I took an eyeliner brush and used it to make a line to define my crease. If you don't have a crease, that's okay. Just keep your eyelids open and put it wherever you think it would be. Obviously you can see I didn't make perfect lines, but that's okay because it'll all end up being blended away. So I just took that same G13 fluffy brush and I used it to blend out all of I used it to blend out the whole line because we didn't want it to be a very harsh cut crease because we are going for a soft smoky eye look. If this is your first time trying to do a cut crease, I suggest using an eyeshadow instead of a cream because it is a lot easier to work with. Next, I took the white shade from my chocolate bar palette and spread it all over my lid underneath the crease that we created. I had to go over it a lot of times because it is a sheer shade of white. MAC has a pigment called White Blanc, which is really easy to work with, so if you have it, I suggest to use that. Now I just went back in with the fluffy brush and whatever was on it, I just spread it all over the crease because I felt like it got a little lost.
again because the white was so sheer I had to go back over it again because whatever was in the crease fell onto the lid. Now I'm using my Inglot 77 gel liner which is my favorite gel liner and I put that on with my two favorite Sigma brushes, the winged liner and the line perfector. These two brushes make it really, really easy to make the wing you're looking for. For this particular look, I wanted a longer wing just to accentuate the crease. Then I used my Shioma eyelash curler to curl my lashes. Then I put my 201 Coco lashes on because they're fun and flirty and hey, it's Valentine's Day. I'm taking that same light brown shade from the chocolate bar palette and I'm just spreading that underneath my waterline with a pencil brush. I chose to do a light brown shade instead of a black or a dark brown because we don't want it to be too smoky. Now I'm just putting mascara on my lower lashes. It can be any mascara, but my personal favorite is the L'Oreal Telescopic. And for my waterline, I'm just using the LA Girl Cosmetics Black Gel Liner. Now for my face, I'm using my Makeup Forever HD Primer. And I'm spreading that all over my face and neck. To conceal my problem areas, I'm using my NARS concealer, which is my favorite concealer at the moment, and I'm blending that in with my Beauty Blender. Make sure it's damp because that really makes a big difference. For my brows, I'm just using my Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ebony and just filling in the sparse areas. As you can see, there's such a difference. For foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I'm mixing it with my Stila Shimmer to give the face a glow, and I'm applying that with my Morphe G2 Buffer Brush. I feel this brush really gives you a flawless look because you're just buffing it into your skin. Make sure you don't forget to do your neck as well if you're going a shade lighter than your actual skin tone. For highlight, I'm using that same NARS concealer except in a lighter shade, and I'm applying that under my eyes in an upside down triangle motion, and I'm going to apply that on my, the bridge of my nose and around my mouth and on the center of my forehead. It's really important to balance out your face when it comes to highlight so one part doesn't look brighter than the other, and I'm just blending that out with my damp beauty blender. For contour, I'm using my Stila CC Cream in the shade Warm, 
and I'm blending that out with my Morphe MB4 brush. Then I just took my Anastasia Contour Palette and going in with my Morphe G2 brush, I'm using the color Banana to set my highlight area. I'm using the Dark Contour Powders to set my clean contour with the same MB4 brush. And I put it around my forehead and under my chin just to warm up my face. For blush, I'm using this pretty matte pink from Tarte, and then I went back in with a stippling brush just to make sure there aren't any harsh lines on my face. After I did that, I realized that it took away all the color from the blush, so I just went back in to add a little more color. For lips, I used an NYX lip base and put a red lip liner on top. And it's really important to be careful when you're dealing with dark colors because if you mess up, it's really hard to get off. I'm using a red lip crayon from Ulta and I put it all over my lips. Because I wanted an ombre effect, I put my Lime Crime Velveteen in the center of my lips. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this look.